Miguel Sweaty. Can't find it. Miguel Rojas digs in and sends the first pitch up the middle and into center field for a leadoff hit. So Rojas now has a seven game hitting streak and singles to center. Here's John Birdie, the third baseman. And Barrera drops strike one. Good block there, one ball, one strike. Rojas not moving. Swing and a miss at the hiding eye singles. And that one in there, in there to strike him out looking. Painted the corner with the cutter. 30 has a deuce Aguilar. They have two of the top three RBI guys in the National League. Duvall's tied for third with 64. Yet four. Yet they're one of the lowest scoring teams in the league. Just the huge lead to see if he will. Slow tapper Harrison charging in. Will take the only play he has at first to get the out. Here with Atlanta. Didn't re-sign. Marlins picked him up. Just outside for a ball. On second. Or maybe he just had to get out of the system. It'll be okay. Been there, done that. Lester's 2 0. Is in there for the strike. The middle. The pitch there. Hot shot, just foul. Just foul. Rojas into giving a false sign to the hitter. Got him on the changeup, and Lester puts up the zero in the top of the first. Bounced in fastball for ball one. For the Marlins, Detweiler took a knockout punch in the first inning. Squibber foul in the changeup. One ball, two strikes. Picked up Real Muto. Sanchez has been hurt all year. We saw him last season. FP looked like he was a an ace in the making, but he's had a shoulder issue and was not going to pitch all year. For strain, so they've had to really shuffle their rotation. Alfaro swings the ball in the dirt. Barrera will fire down to complete the strikeout. So Lester, not normal. When you try to get ready and prepare for the Marlins, they make so many trades, and they acquired Joe Panic in a deal. Trading. This guy was a good player when he was with the Giants. Part of their World Series team in 14. Team in 14. Cutter knock. Spoils and spoils the curveball to stay alive. And plus, you got the momentum. Everyone's happy in the dugout. Got a good vibe going. Turner toward the middle. Across the bag, gets out number two. They're AAA in Jacksonville now as he takes a strike. You can say whatever you want about John Lester. He's had some rough starts for the Nats this year, but my favorite part about this guy is he competes. I mean, the fifth day, you know he's going to go out there and fight and compete. And, and what? Looking for the one, two, three inning, and he's got it with strikeout number four. Out number four. So, Monte Harrison, the center fielder, the batter, takes a strike. Harrison, with limited action in the big leagues this year, called up from Triple A Jacksonville. First draft pick. Shot to right. Soto chasing over. Runs it down in the alley. Nice break on that one for five in his big league career. The minors either. And it's 0 2 on him. Maybe it's because he doesn't swing. swing.
Good take. Lester. And the swing and a miss. That is strikeout number five for Lester. One. Now you've got the Marlins. You've got the Orioles. You've got the Phillies. The Phillies again. You're kind of back in division play. We talked. Been a big believer. Know the schedule is easy. So now we're going to be good. You, you're either good or you're not. Rojas gets in. Gets into one to deep left center. This one's not going to be caught, and it's off the wall in play. And Rojas is the Marlins' offense. He is two for two. Had all the missing pieces. Gomes, Schwarber, Avila, Strasburg, and then you add that to your confidence because of the schedule. Now you start taking on the big boys with a different swagger about you. I have to say, oh, the schedule eases up. They can like get some wins now. Well, no, the Nats have never scared, been scared of anybody or cared of who they played or where they play them mm -hmm. in past years. Bring them all on. Birdie in the air to right with Soto chasing deep toward the corner. And he's got it. Wanting to get deeper into games. And so far, he's avoided the high pitch count inning as he misses. Rocketed toward third, reaching up Harrison to grab. On Harrison quickly at the hot corner. Adam Duvall. Fastball away. Foul past third base coach Trey. John Lester's been a strong second half pitcher. This is start number one after the All Star break for Lester. And Duvall swing, Duvall swings and misses. He strikes out for the second time. Lester has matched his season's best with six Ks. A backdoor cutter. 19th against the Mets. So Faro takes the fastball for a strike. Up the middle and shaded that way to that way Escobar. And Lester has another quick inning. Deadline day and so much conversation about the Cubs. Related to that deadline day will they be sellers and the former Cub John Lester. Facing Joe Panic. About to Turner his first time up. Ball and it's one and one. Six and forty seven, and they're asking if they're sellers. They're nine games out. That's their six out at forty three and forty nine. So in, in better position. Tried to frame the low fastball. Three and one. Up the middle and a base hit right center. Stevenson ranging over. Game off season. Brinson chases one. That's been the chance for two. Turner shovel. Turner shovels to Escobar for one. On to first for the double play. Six. Marlins team lost three out of four. The Phillies are frustrated. Monte Harrison with a pop up. Josh Harrison trying to find it. Can't see it. Or is he playing with us? No, no, he couldn't, no, he see, couldn't it. see it. Pitch black. Toward right center. Can Soto get it? No. Off the wall and a bounce. Harrison can really run. He'll take off his batting helmet and carry it around second and hold there. He was thinking about stealing third with two outs, down by ten, and the pitcher hitting. Did you see that? I did. S with the slow, slow chopper. Harrison cuts in front. Nice play to retire the side. So less. Rojas, a little squibber, hugging the line. It'll go foul. Here's Homer. Right. Yes. What does the key actually open up? Do we know? Have we gotten to the bottom of that? What? No. 
On the ground to short. Turner moving in. And Rojas is retired for the first time. The truck is bad at me. Birdie's 0 for 2. So Strasburg the last Nationals pitcher to Homer. Lester's last Homer for himself was almost two years ago. It was July 13th, 2019. Birdie takes a strike, so it was just a So they had catcher and pitcher Homer back to back for the Nats. Nats. Dribbler up the first base line. That's Herrera fair. gets it as a fair ball. And the throw on to first for the out. They said he did touch first base when he was covering. He argued the play, and all the Braves were scoring while he was arguing. It was the same kind of thing with Walker, where when he swatted it, like you said, the on Dexter. Herrera's play with uh, far less excitement. He was almost a home plate as the third base coach. Good pitch there, out pitch there, outside corner at the knees, two and one. Aguilar didn't like the call. Tried the same spot, didn't get it. Tapper foul, and it's a full count. And he got him. A new Nats high. The key for too long. John Lester pitching into the seventh inning for the second time this year. Ball striking out twice, two of seven Ks for John. Left side and past Turner, lunging after it. Lead off hit for Adam Duvall. Ori Alfaro, the hitter for Miami, and he sends one to center. Stevenson closing, and he's got it, one away. Cubs. The Cubs. Joe Panic, little looper. Harrison and Turner chasing. Turner, the better angle, calls him off and makes the running grab toward the line. Marlins swinging early this inning and been attacking the strike zone and had it on cruise control. And then Lester added to the line drive, base hit left field toward the line. Ball will hold it second. Deep left toward the corner, hooking and out of play. Lester's 0 1 is locked down by Barrera. Broken bat pop up. Bell ranging back onto the grass. And for the first time this season, John Lester has finished.